Jackson Mtembu has blasted the DA and the EFF for what he says is their attempt to sabotage the passing of the budget and engaging in thuggery tactics respectively. Mtembu was referring to recent events in Parliament where the DA staged walkouts during votes for budget and the EFF's disruption of President Jacob Zuma's oral replies on Tuesday. We welcome the decision of Parliament to press criminal charges against the EFF members of Parliament for their repulsive acts of blatant violence against the security staff of Parliament. Ntembu also had harsh words for the biggest opposition. The DA brazenly indulged in silly tactics, including staging walkouts to try to stop the passing of the budgets and deny millions of South Africans much needed services. But both opposition parties reacted immediately. They countercharged that it is the ruling party that has violated both the constitution and the rules of parliament. Nancy Chief Whip can't have his cake and eat it. He says that parliament parties must obey the rules and, and work by the rules. Yet when we as an opposition work within those rules, he then says it's barbaric and makes all sorts of, uh, of allegations. He must uh, choose now what he wants. Are the opposition to play by the rules or the opposition not to play by the rules? He can't have both. The EFF leader was on a campaign trail in the Eastern Cape. He met traditional leaders and then addressed the community. He told the crowd that rather than just applaud the party, they should but also defend the constitution and the future of South Africa by voting for his party on August the 3rd. He also elaborated on events on Tuesday in Parliament. Security was said to beat us up and we did not fight them. We blessed them with water. So we are the blessers of Parliament security. They must know that when they respond to peaceful protest through violence, they will get violence. But we were beaten during Zuma State of the Nation. And then they even disconnected a jaw of one of our female members of parliament. We opened a case. Till today, no one has been arrested. Journalists were not spared the wrath of the ANC either. Ntembu had serious reservations about the persistent probing on Tuesday scuffles. The line of question seems to suggest that in fact the problem is with the ANC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your line of question yeah. seems to suggest that in fact the EFF is correct mm. by coming to a house and forcing their way. Parliament has now adopted all budget allocations. It will rise next week and members will effectively be going out to engage in an all-out election campaign for local government elections.